We have recently discussed the peculiarities of USW operation, and today we will discuss in detail the construction of the Alexandrov's cavity resonator. In order to build the device, we will need a cylindrical metal can, preferably with a metal lid. The structure of the resonator is shown in the picture. It is designed for 88 to 108 MHz. We use an Escafe can 1 that is 75 mm in diameter and 70 mm in width. The spiral 2 is bound using the wire PV2 with a diameter of 2 mm. It consists of 6 winds. The winding is frameless with a diameter of 35 mm and the length of 36 to 40 mm. We recommend that you make more winds because it will enable you to adjust the device by shortening the spiral. The lower part of the wire is inserted into the hole in the side face bent and soldered to the outer side face. An XSY slot should be placed on the lower side face. The central contact is connected to the spiral at a distance of approximately uh, 0.1 to 0.15 winds from the start of the spiral. Disregarding the straight section of Y, the C2 capacitor is made of a piece of PEV uh, 2 or 0.4 or 0.5 wire that constitutes 20 to 30 mm in length and is connected next to the spiral wings. The moving part of the C1 capacitor is made of a metal disc 3 attached to the screw 4. The screw moves in the nut or basher 5 soldered to the lead 6. Disc 3 can be made of tin and its diameter would be equal to the diameter of the spiral. To decrease losses inside the disc, you would need to cut out one, uh, three sectors with the angle of a couple of degrees. To make a helical resonator, one can use metal cans of different diameters. And the bigger the diameter, the more efficient such resonator will be. First of all, we should try to use a can. See the picture with the H to D ratio equal to 1.2, 1.3, where H is the height of the can and D is its diameter. If the ratio is different, the accuracy of the calculation would be worse. The number of winds N equals 2586 uh, divided by FR, where F is the upper adjustment frequency, I is the radius of the one of the can, the spiral winding diameter, T equals R, winding length, I equals 1.5 R, winding step, A equals y divided i divided by n y diameter b equals a divided by 4 the distance between the end of the coil and the lower and upper sides should remain within the range of l equals 0.25.3d. When selecting the right can, do keep in mind the following. What matters is the cleanliness of the internal surface, and it would be good if it's shiny. It is also preferable that there are no seams that are located in parallel to the coil, but since in most cases such seams are there, you should pay attention to their quality and solder them, if required. The lower grounded end of the coil should be connected to the side face at the right angle. Based on all of the above, we can conclude that that the can used by the author was indeed not the best option. The H to D ratio was about 1, which is why the lower winds turned out to be too close to the lower side, and that means that the efficiency of the resonator was lower than desired. The calculation accuracy did not exceed 8 to 10 percent. The number of winds should be equal to 6.5, and after the adjustment we only had 6. The antenna for the device was made with the help of a wire section with 1, 1.5 mm in diameter a quarter of a wavelength, which in this case is about 70 centimeters. The level of received signal strongly depends upon the orientation of the antenna and its location. All of that will help you build a really efficient circuit and thus reliable reception from faraway stations.